In this video, I'm going to take you through the basics of creating a particle system graphic or texture using Adobe Photoshop. Now to begin, a couple of quick notes. This process can be used depending on which game engine you're working with, either Unity or Unreal. But for this demonstration, I'm going to prepare a graphic that will be pulled into Unity. To start with, I'm going to go ahead and click on Create New. Now, some of the options here. For the preset, I'm going to call this Particle Texture. Again, depending on how large you want the particle systems to be, I'd keep it small. I like to go at 500 by 500, but we could even go a little smaller. An important thing to note, though, especially with Photoshop, is it will remember the last file size type that you were working with. So for instance, even though my drop-down menu says pixels here, you need to double check this. If you were working in anything like inches, points, or picas, you need to make sure you come in and check that you're working in pixels. Likewise, because I'm working with monitor resolutions, I'm going to keep this pretty low here, especially too since it's a particle system to 72 ppi. The last thing you want to pay attention to though is under the background contents, make sure you choose transparency. Unity and Unreal both have ways whenever you convert a texture into a material for a particle system that it can remove the background for you. I'm going to go ahead now and choose Create. So here is my working environment. As you can see, if I draw your attention down to the right hand side where the layer is, I have a single layer one with the checkerboard, which again, the checkerboard in these types of programs means transparency, that there's not actually anything there. I'm now ready to come in and start designing a particle system. You have a lot of different tools in Photoshop available to you, such as shapes or paints, paint brushes, etc. For this demonstration though, you're going to want to locate your rectangle tool. And if you click and hold over it, it's going to bring up something called the custom shape tool. The custom shape tool will give you several different options going across the top here, but more specifically, there's a shape drop-down menu that you can actually choose from some pre-created shapes. So for instance here, if you can choose from boats or wild animals or different trees or flowers. If I go with the little submarine here, I can change as far as the fill and the stroke color by just clicking in the box here. And then I can come into my scene here and just click and drag out as far as creating the overall object. Now, I may need to reposition this a little bit, so I'm going to go up into my toolbox and go to the Move tool and just kind of reposition this into the center here. You can add other effects as you please as far as the overall layout is concerned, but let's go ahead here and get this ready for export. The first thing you're going to do is under the File drop-down menu, you're going to choose Export. You could choose Quick Export as PNG, but I am going to choose Export As, just so you can see that window. Here you can see you get a final check as far as the overall layout and design of your item is concerned. Notice the transparency is checked. It's showing you as far as the image size, width and height, and the scale. So I'm pretty much good to go here. So I'm going to go ahead and select to Export. Now, a couple of notes here. Depending on how your computer is set up, it might want to save to Documents or Desktop. I would strongly advise you if you are preparing this particle texture to be used in one of your projects in a game engine. If you already have the project made, I would encourage you to locate that project and just save the PNG directly in there. So for instance here, I'm using a Unity project, so I'm going to go ahead and select Unity, locate my project here, and go into that Assets folder. You can already see I have some pre-made particles here. So what I'm going to do is keep the particle texture, but I'm going to add sub at the end so I know what I'm saving. The only other item that I would suggest you do is also save a PSD in the same location. It's important to save a working version of your file that in case whenever you pull it into the game engine, you realize that it's not what you want or you have to make changes, you'll want to have that original file. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose File and then Save As. Now, one nice thing about Photoshop is based on where I saved my PNG, it's making the assumption that I'd also like to save the working file or the PSD in the same location. 
so I don't have to go through and re-navigate to the Assets folder in my project. And so now I can maybe change this to Particle Texture Working. It's going to ask you about maximizing compatibility between Photoshop versions, and you can just tell it OK. At this point now, you've created your assets and you're now ready to go into your game engine and start creating your particle system.